The fans are out in droves here as the teams enter the stadium ready to do battle. We're inside this dome stadium for today's matchup between the Florida Gators and the Bandits. And here come the Bandits. Welcome, everybody. Brad Nessler here for EA Sports with my co-host, Kirk Curbstreet and Lee Corso. We hope you're ready for an action-packed game of NCAA football. If you compare these teams on paper, they really look to be pretty equal. Kirk, what do you think? You're right, and that's why I think individual performances will be the difference. The home team is going to attack this defense in the air, and I'll tell you, this is the key to the game. If their quarterback has time to throw, he'll have a huge game today against that vulnerable secondary. And i like to add one thing. Florida has a good defense, but I think as good as their defense is, they will have a hard time defending this kind of running attack. I think they'll play well, but not well enough, sweetheart, to win this ball game. Well, thanks, guys, and it looks like we're ready for the coin toss. And they're ready to kick this one away. Number 11, back to return. We should have a return on this one. Number one, fields it at the three. Hey. They'll go to work at the 19. The Gators line up with three wide. On the ground, up the middle. Juku Williams brings him down at the 24. A five-yard pickup for the tailback. Second down and five. Ball on the 24-yard line. Florida comes to the line with three wide. Drops back to pass. Under pressure. He's looking down the middle. Got it. The 50. At the 40. At the 30. To the 20, to the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. They went deep there, and did they have good luck with it? Well, I'll say that was a great touchdown catch by the wide receiver. And he tacks on the extra point. With just over a minute to go in the first quarter, the score is Florida 7, the Bandits nothing. Florida lines up for the kickoff. Sanford takes it at the 4. He spins. They'll set up shop at the 28. Two tight end set. Crockett hands it off. Spin move. And down he goes at the 33. The halfback gets the call and picks up five. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 33. Dyer lines up as a single back. And he's taken down. Four, maybe five yards on the run. It's third and inches. Ball on their own 38. The Bandits come out showing three wide. Up the middle, and he stopped behind the line. Nice defensive stand there. And some good play calling defensively. They always had someone in the right spot to make a play and force the three and out. And this is a really gutsy call going for it in this situation. Coach, why would you go for it there? I'm still trying to figure that one out. It doesn't make sense to me. I mean, guys, it's only the first half. There's still a lot of football to be played. That's just a poor decision. The Gators line up with three wide. He drops back. Steps up. Throws it to the outside. What a catch, and that's going to give him a first down. Well, that's a big play for the offense, but I think the defense needs to play a little bit tighter in the secondary. The Gators set up in the gun. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. And down he goes. Check out the replay on that one. Nine yard gain on the play. 
second and one coming up here. Ball on the 14-yard line. Number 10 with three wide receivers. Bad snap. Let's it go. Complete. Touchdown, Florida! That was quite a play as he found his wide receiver for the touchdown. And he hits the PAT. So down to just a few seconds left in the first quarter with a score, Florida 14, the Bandits nothing. Kicks it off. Schneider takes it at the eight, spinning. Their last drive ended when they decided to try for it on fourth down and were turned away by the defense. They'll start this drive at the 19. Ace backfield. Dyer gets it on the inside. And he's taken down. Eight yards on the pickup. After a quarter of play, our score is Florida 14. The Bandits nothing. Two minutes to go in the half. Florida lines up in a dime defense here. Looking. He's looking down the middle. And it's caught. And down he goes. How do you like that pass, Lee? I don't know about the pass, but the result, a first down, ha, that's what I like. It's first and 10. Ball on the 32. The Gators bring in the nickel package. Looks, steps up in the pocket, fires across the middle. Got it. And he's all the way down to the 41. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does. And he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. Three wideouts here. They snap it to the back. The 10. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. Great play call there. They designed that play specifically for the halfback. And boy, did it pay off. They had everything working on that play, guys. The line created a good push. The back picked the right hole. And the defense wasn't there to make the tackle. Next thing you know, you got a touchdown. So with just over a minute to go in the half, the score, Florida 14, the Bandits 8. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it. 76, field to the 26. Let's see if this defense has trouble defending the pass again here. If they do, my friend, look out. They're going to give up another touchdown in a hurry. They'll take over at the 31-yard line. The Bandits line up in a nickel back. Back to pass. He steps up. And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 31-yard line. Number ten lines up in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Steps up. He's under pressure, and he's going to be sacked. He grabbed a hold of the quarterback and would not let go. Well, he's able to slip right through a crack in the line and get a big right. sack. Passing situation here on third and long. Ball on the 22-yard line. The Gators line up with five receivers. He drops back. Here they come. Finds his receiver. The 50 at the 40. At the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Florida! This kid just continues to impress us with his ability to catch the football. He's already gone over 100 yards here in the first half. You know, if you were to ask this defense, who wants to cover this guy, I bet you nobody's going to raise their hand because this receiver is embarrassing them. And he tacks on the extra point. Less than a minute remains in the second quarter, and our score is Florida 21. The Bandits, eight. Here's the kick. Schneider takes it at the 12 with the spin. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll go to work at the 24. The Bandits come out in a shotgun. Back to pass. He's looking. Somehow gets the ball away. His receiver has it. And he's taken down. 
The defense looked a little lost on that one, Kirk. Yeah, they did, Brad. Nice recognition here by the quarterback to see that confusion and then take advantage of it. Crockett has four receivers lined up here. Looking, steps up in the pocket. Going deep on the left side. And he's got it! He's all the way down to the 14. The Bandits are going to take a timeout, and that was their last timeout. It's first and 10. Ball on the 14. Florida brings in their nickel package, looks, throws it to the outside. It falls incomplete. He missed his man there. Yeah, he's got to be a little bit more patient down there, close to the end zone. Second and 10. Ball on the 14-yard line. The Bandits set up in the gun. Crockett drops the throw. He's looking, throws it to the outside. Coach, he made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. It's third down and 10, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. They come out in a nickel, drop back to pass, looking, he steps up, almost intercepted. Same pass play, good defense that time. So they elect not to kick the field goal. Looks to the end zone. Oh boy, almost intercepted. They decided that the field goal points weren't enough, apparently. And it bit them <laughs> right in the backside. You got to go for the points this early in the game. They line up in the jumbo set. On the ground with the tailback. Nothing doing. Tackled for a loss on the play. And we've reached halftime here. The score at the break. Florida, 21. The Bandit. We'll see what kind of halftime adjustments were made as we prepare to start the second half. Kicks it off. Schneider takes it for 12. He spins around. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the 32. Florida puts six DBs on the field to counter this five receiver look. He's got him. He's on the run to the 10. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. Nice catch by the receiver. And that reception put him over the century mark for the day. And you want to know something, Kirk? What's that? This receiver is the real deal. He's a great playmaker. And he hits the PAT. So with less than two to go in the third quarter, our score, Florida 21, the Bandits 15. And they'll be returning this one. Number one, fields it at the one. Makes a move. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll set up shop at the 29. Ball on the 29 yard line. Florida lines up in a double tight set. Hut, hut. Hut, hut, hut. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And down he goes at the 41. On defense, it's all about instincts. It didn't look like their instincts worked too well on that play. <laughs> You're right, Lee. There was a lot of running room there. Number 33, alone in the backfield. On the ground with a tailback. And he's taken down. No gain. No gain on the play. Second and ten. Second and ten. Ball, on Ball on the 41. Number 10 is back in the gun. Hut. 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 He drops back. Over the middle. Complete. Williams with a takedown. So they pick up a few with a pass play, Coach. Yeah, it was. I like plays like these. As long as you're moving forward and not backward, you're doing pretty good. Third down and four coming up on this one. Ball on the 47-yard line. Florida will line up in a jumbo set here. Throws this one out to the right. Nobody covering the tight end, and he's got it. To the 20. To the 10. And he will score.
and he tacks on the extra point. Less than a minute remains in the third quarter with the score, Florida 28, the Bandits 15. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Schneider passes at the five, spins up field. Thanks to some nice passing on the last drive, the offense was able to take it down the field for six. A great play calling to help make that an easy drive. The question is, can they do it again? Florida has all their DBs in for this five wide set. He throws a dart. He got it, and they bring him down. First and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. The Bandits line up with five receivers. Steps up. Fires. And he can't make the catch. The pass falls incomplete. Right. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball second on the 32. Going with the Ball shotgun the here. Yard. Back to pass. He's looking. Steps up in the pocket. Touchdown! And he comes up with his second touchdown catch of the game right there. Kirk, this kid is tough to stop. Yeah, you're right, Coach. You try to keep tabs on him, but eventually he's going to find a way to get open. I think you need to double-team him. And he hits the PAT. Just a few seconds remaining now in the third quarter, and our score, Florida 28, the Bandits 22. Scott looks ready to kick this one off. Number 11 and number one back to return. Decent kick, looks to be returnable. And we've got a penalty on this one as it goes out of bounds. Let's get the call. Illegal procedure on the kicking team. The ball will be spotted at the You don't see that many kickoffs go out of bounds. Well, that ball just came off his foot all messed up. We'll see if he's going to make a habit of that. It's first and ten. Ball on the 35. Florida lines up with three receivers. Under heavy pressure. Got it. Inside the 30. To the 10. Touchdown, Florida. And that one's going to put him over 300 yards passing for the ball game. And he tacks on the extra point. So that brings us to the end of the quarter. And at the end of three, our score, Florida 35, the Bandits 22. Florida, is Florida to kick this one off. Sanford back to return. Kicks it off. Schneider takes it at the eight. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll start this drive at the 24. Florida has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. And he got it! And he's all the way down to the 24-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 24. Florida puts six DBs on the field to counter this five-receiver look. He steps up. He's going left. And he's got it. Touchdown. And with that last pass, Coach, this quarterback's gone over 300 yards for the game. A very impressive performance indeed. And he hits the PAT. So with less than two to go in the fourth quarter, the score is Florida 35, the Bandits 29. Coach, you got to wonder what they're thinking here. Kicks it off. Number 11 takes it at the four. Lee, wouldn't you go for an onside kick in this situation? No doubt about it. You go for the onside, get the ball back, and try to score again. You're right. This is a no-brainer. Give your team the opportunity to score. The Gators line up in a goal line formation. Inside give, and they hit him in the backfield. 
Didn't get anything. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 22. Florida will line up in a jumbo set here. The defense calls a timeout, and that was their first timeout. Second and ten. Ball on the 22. They line up in the jumbo set. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And down he goes at the 24-yard line. And they're going to play keep away and work this clock. EA Sports and Old Spice say congratulations to our players of the game. The Bandits call for a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 24. The Gators come to the line with their jumbo package. On the ground with the tailback. He's on the run. What a stiff arm. What a run on third down. You know, we're always talking about the importance of converting on third down. If you're going to have any kind of success, you got to be able to keep these drives alive, like they did right there. Florida lines up in a goal line set. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Eldry brings him down. The Bandits are going to take a timeout, and now they got no timeouts left. Second and seven coming up here. This is the fifth play of this drive. They come out in a goal line set. They'll give it off here. And he's taken down. The halfback runs for four yards. Gain of four on the play. So another third down upcoming for the offense. The Gators line up in a goal line formation. And they'll run him again. And down he goes. So the ground game picks up another first down. Well, this really works on a defensive psyche. You can see the guys on defense right now just trying to catch their win. Once again, they had a chance to bring this drive to a halt, but were unable to do it. The offense really seems to be clicking right now. There's the final gun, and this game is history. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? This is why I'm up here with you guys. Coaching a game like this might give you a heart attack. Florida really got all they asked for and more in this contest. Great job by both teams. And we